for the last couple of days I've been hanging out here with all the tourists in Camden but as much as I'd like to kick it with all the weird wonderful and funky people in Camden Town it's time to get down to business jump on the tube and head south to an area that not many tourists head to a place in London that has some of the worst crime statistics in the entire city a place that is recognised as if not the most then one of the most dangerous places in the entire city of London so join me folks let's jump on the tube and let's see how the people live far away from the tourist centre here where there is a real struggle with crime and danger in every day of their lives let's go the, uh, memory uh, memory uh, memory uh, I don't have a gun no I don't have a gun no, I don't have a gun. Memory. And we're donating to get you drunk. Yeah. That's a cause that I can get behind. You know, you're heading out in the sticks in London when you have to take the overground. Are you, are you security, mate? Security in Costa? Yeah, I've never seen security in Costa. Why, why do they need security in a coffee shop? Uh, maybe the manager knows the best. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. I'm used to it in pubs, but not in a coffee shop. Wow. Welcome to Croydon in South London. Now, I go all around the country and I show you a lot of places that have problems, but Many people in the comments are telling me that if I really want to see places that have got problems, dangerous, rough areas, then I should come to London. And many people have said check out Croydon. Now, Croydon has some really unwanted statistics. It's really high in the London area when it comes to a crime rate in general. Also for violent crime and knife crime. And it's become, in the last few years, synonymous with knife crime. So I'm here today to see what Croydon's like. I'm wandering the high street, but we're gonna check out some of the areas. We're gonna to talk to the people in Croydon and see if it really is as dangerous here in this part of South London as people say it is. Let's check it out. Excuse me, did you drop these? Yeah, you just dropped them on the floor oh, down you, there. Thank you, thank you. So what's life like in Croydon? Well, it's pretty tough, bro. Pretty tough, you know. It's rough. It's, there's a lot of trouble, you know what I mean? But this is the worst road you can build. Okay, what's, it, what's this road? West Croydon is uh, London Road, West Croydon, outside the station. Like most places in any uh, city centres, this is, this is where, it's, you know, all the bad shit will happen. Yeah, so I, I read a lot of like statistics about crime, violent crime, knife crime. Yeah, yeah. Is that all prevalent here? Yeah, he's a guy, a young boy, young boy, 13, died over there. He died, yeah, he, he couldn't even get to the hospital. He tried to get to the hospital with himself, yeah? Yeah. He's Where got, he's got, he's got a back over there. Yeah. His name's Jermaine Calls, Jermaine Calls, yeah? yeah? That's I've, never met, I've never met him, 13 year old boy. Yeah. I'm 62, bro, come yeah. on. Next month I'm 62 years old, you so, won't believe it. So are you born and bred in, oh, in this area? Road, yeah. yeah, born down the road here. Yeah. St James's Road, St Mary's Hospital. Before May Day, a May Day Hospital, right? They call it Croydon University Hospital now. They call it May Day, it's a joke, like, right? yeah, you may die, you may Jeez, die. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But, no, there's, you know, it's like most places, my man. Yeah. Like most places. I can imagine it's like Manchester, Liverpool, anywhere in this country, brother. Yeah, I mean, I go all around the country yeah. and I go to all different areas yeah. from seaside towns to yeah. city centres. Where are you from, bro? You got your accent. Originally, I'm from the Midlands, yeah. Yeah, yeah. West yeah. Bromwich, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Near there, yeah. Well, More you, near Wolverhampton. Black country? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. I've been Wolverhampton. Okay, yeah. I've been to Eves. Okay. I've been to Eves and around about Eves. Yeah. And around, and around. Yeah, I've been to Eves some place like me. So what's, come back. what's your situation at the moment? Oh, uh, um, I lost my job. I was a postman. I had two dislocated shoulders. I made my finger cut off you know, like, uh, in December. Jeez, I, yeah. I'm never going to work. Oh, so you're on four fingers, so yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, three, well, three and a thumb. Well, yeah. I'm never going to work again, bub. Yeah. Because I've got no power on me. I don't care. I work. I want to see the young people work. Yeah. Come on, man. I'm 62 next month. Yeah. So, so do you think because of the 
obvious crime in the area. Do you think that puts people on edge, like walking round, uh, like at risk of we, stabbings well, and not, things? A lot of people, a lot of people, we know each other around here. We know okay. where to go, you know, where not to go. Yeah. I'd imagine, you know, anywhere we go anywhere in this country, you know where not to go. Now, if you go down this area, Certain times of night, you could you could get in trouble. Yeah. So in daytime people. it's okay, yeah, but it's after night. dark yeah. it's sketchy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And that's the further you go down this road. The further you go down, rub the worse it gets, bro. It's the way it is, bro. Yeah, yeah. I see, I see some sit around you wouldn't believe it. So would you? Yeah. I mean, like people on my channel, they said like be careful in Croydon. Yeah. Like, nah, uh, you'll be alright. No. Just wandering around. Nah, you're like, right, you wouldn't no. tell people not to come here. Nah, no, nah, never, never. We're good people. Yeah, we, good people, mate. So you've been here all your life. Sixty-two years. Mate. So, so you, have you seen it change a lot yeah, over the years? Yeah, it's not worse, mate. Yeah, I was, that was worse. my question. Has it so, always yeah, been no, 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 this no. dangerous? No, no, no. This is to me. I was in the Bricks and Rights yeah, in 1980. I was a Telegram boy, 16, 17, 18 years old. This is getting all that, bro. Really? Yes. You, do you see civil yeah, unrest on the yeah, horizon? Uh, this, this high street could be like Round Road. Okay, mate. That's me personally saying. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hope, we, hope we don't come to that because. There's some good people here. Yeah. You've got loads of different uh, nationalities. You know, everyone mingles and it's all good. I don't want anyone to get in there, do they? Jesus. So what's life like in Croydon in 2024? Shit. Why do you say that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, there are like really bad, violent crime statistics. Is that a real thing? Is that something yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. people feel threatened by? Yeah. Yeah. Every time you stop up the step, somebody got stabbed. Somebody. All of them. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Do you feel safe in the yeah, streets? Yeah, like, yeah. You know, defend though, because like for yourself, like, you can defend yourself. Like, you know. If visitors come to Croydon, like what are the dangerous areas? You're gonna go everywhere, but you know, you have to be take care. Like, have you got money for me to really talk to me? I haven't spoken to you, I'm speaking to him. Yeah, well, that's my bet. Yeah, okay. So, you are speaking to me. Okay. Yeah, what's what life? What do you want to know about Croydon? What's Croydon like these days? Oh, rough. Mm. Rough. Very rough, son. Yeah, I can imagine being on the street here. At the same here. time, there's help, there's help. a lot of there's buildings the being built. we got no house. No house. Yeah. How long, have you, how long have you all been on the streets like this? Huh. Mario, tell me how long you've been on the street. Yes, almost yes. Really? Four and a half years. Is it dangerous? Dangerous. Of course it's dangerous. Yes. Don't you hear people, Croydon people, they stab, mm. even kids going to school to stab them. Are you still in there? Ask me. Yeah, there's a girl who was stabbed. Remember that girl? Huh? Yeah. yeah. A coffin passed by. No, 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 hey, Do you feel in danger? danger? Why you got for me? Danger, yes, of course. Oh, that's Especially right. at night. You yes. want to know? Yeah. yeah. You want to know how Croydon live like? Leave your house. Undress and come on a liberal street with us. Wait, wait. Yeah. And you will know. No, I understand, mate. Yeah. No, I understand. no, no, no. Tell you. Yeah. Tell yeah. You. Yeah. yeah. You want to live with us? Come and live with us. popped a QR code on screen folks. For those of you that are watching on TV that aren't signed into your YouTube account, you can hover over the QR code with your mobile device and you can click the subscribe button because it really helps to make the channel grow. And for those of you that are signed in, and please do it folks, it really helps. You live in Croydon. What's, yes. What's life like in Croydon in 2024? Uh, I can't swear. You can if you want. Shit. Yeah, why do you say that? Well, I've lived here all my life. It's changed tremendously. So when did you notice Croydon changing, if you've lived here all your life? I would say within the worst part has been since the last five, six years. Yeah. And even before that, it was going downhill, but it's, it's just not my Croydon anymore. Yeah, yeah. It's so different. And I mean, years ago, I'd say to people, all go to Croydon, it's a lovely place. You know, you can get people to help you. So you used to have a good sense of community back yeah. in the day? But now, you don't feel nothing. No. I don't feel it's anywhere near that. It's got some really bad crime statistics. Very much Is, so. It, do you feel that living here? Yes, I do. I mean, to be quite honest, I, I don't go out after about sort of half past seven, eight okay. o'clock at night, even though at the moment it's still light at that time, 
but in the winter time, I, I wouldn't go out after that time because yeah. I'd be too frightened. Yeah, it's a bit scary it's place after dark. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Okay, okay. This is a memorial here to one of the victims of the knife crime here in Croydon. Young lady I read about before I came here, unfortunately, was stabbed to death which just shows you how dangerous it is for young people if they're in the wrong place at the wrong time here in Croydon. So you live in Sutton, you come in to Just shop to in Croydon for, you said the African shopping? Yes, Yeah. most of the African shopping and they have mostly the halal food. Okay, you know, yeah. This is Ramadan for we. Yeah, yeah. And we hope very soon we will pray on Wednesday. Yeah. And it's a nice to meet you, man. Yeah, yeah. Croydon is a nice place, but if you know how to move in it. Okay, yeah. But so if, if it, you don't know, you cannot live in crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's got really bad crime statistics and people say it's I a very know. dangerous place. I was living here before three years up there. They put me someplace, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. But I manage my life with all my disability. I can go around. Yeah. Nobody talked to me, nobody harmed me. They are good, some of them. So you lived here for three years before. and you- Before, I just moved to- did, You didn't feel in danger when you lived here? People say it's in danger, but for me it's not in danger because I'm polite to everyone. Yeah. The way you talk to people, the way you live. But if you want to be harsh to anyone, then you will be harsh also, they will harsh you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you see, I see many things, but it's not my problem. Don't be angry. When you get angry, you will get a slap. <laughs> so I don't need a slap. Life will give you a slap <laughs> if you're angry to it. And I cannot throw on. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is the problem. Enjoy your shopping, my friend. Thank you, Thank you for talking to me. Have a nice day. And you, my friend. I love your camera. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> of course, it's not all doom and gloom, crime and deprivation here in Croydon. There's been a lot of high rises built and the jobs that come with those office blocks over the last few years. And one article that I read before I came here said that it's becoming quite a popular place for people to come and live, to commute into central London to work there, because it's a more affordable option. So, you know, there, there is obvious crime and problems here, but at the same time, maybe it's a place that's on the up and a place that's more affordable than the ridiculously high rents that people have to pay in most other parts of London. I will say that considering it is an area with incredibly high crime statistics. I've hardly seen any police. In fact, thinking back, I think I've seen one police car all day since I've been here. You would think we're in a place that has such obvious problems with violent crime, that there would be more police on the streets. And that, to me, is worrying. The community here, those that abide by the law, they definitely deserve far more police presence to help them feel at ease like things are under control. Police count number two, all day. So what's life like in Croydon 2024? 2024, yeah I mean I, it seems it's okay for me, that place is very good. Yeah. Yeah, and we get everything that we want, so I don't have any problem about that place. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a reputation and, and um, the crime numbers are really bad yeah. and it's a dangerous place. Yeah. Do you experience that? Okay, you know, maybe from work to house, from work to house, I don't go out to mingle or to run things with them, you get me? So you think yeah. if you're running so the wrong crowd, Yeah, I hear you about trouble. that, but you know, to see it physically, I've never even appear or to go closer to watch those kind of things. Another positive thing that Croydon's got going for it is this cool little street market. I don't know if it's on every day. Maybe if you know Croydon, you can drop in the comments whether this is a daily thing. I hope it is. But look, amazing fruit and veg. Fish behind me there. More exotic veg there. So this is something good, this is something good for the community here in Croydon that you don't see in many other places around the UK anymore. Would you chat to me about the, the oh, market stall? Time, you haven't got time? Too busy making money? <laughs> One question, is business good, is trade good? Is this here every day as well? Yeah. Every day? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you don't see that in many places in the UK anymore. I don't normally comment on 
empty retail units. I normally leave that to my mate Wandering Turner, but this is the shopping centre. I think it's called the Whitegate Centre here in Croydon. And this part of it at least is basically all closed up. There's a little toy shop down there, but pretty desolate, pretty uh, sad retail offer here in the shopping mall here in Croydon. It's been by far the most difficult place that I've been to in the UK yet, trying to get street interviews. Many people are not happy talking to me on camera and people definitely seem not at ease when I talk to them about things like violent crime and danger in the area. There's definitely an edge to this place. It definitely is dangerous. And many people are telling me that it really does change after dark. There's no way I'll be walking around with this little action camera trying to get interviews from people after sunset. Folks, there's no hiding from the fact that Croydon is a rough place. I wouldn't even say that it has an underbelly of danger and crime because you don't have to scratch below the surface here to hear the stories about how dodgy it can be. But on the flip side, the people that have spoke to me today, I've met some quite engaging people, especially some of the older people who say that it was a much more community friendly place back in the day. But there's a lot of investment too, here by the overground station. You can see the high rises glistening behind, but of course that's not the true story of Croydon. I'll put a link in the description below for all the different places that I got the crime statistics from. And I think if you look into them, do a little bit of reading, you will see the evidence that this is quite a dangerous place. So folks, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along with me to what is without doubt, if not the most, it's definitely one of London's most dangerous areas. I hope you can see that there are good people that live in these areas, but they do live under the shadow of quite a lot of danger and quite a lot of crime. Until next time, folks.